Nigeria has a, it's a, a huge market, 180 million people uh, growing, a lot of young people who need a lot of things, whether it's Indomie, whether it's telephones, whether it's DSTV, Facebook, everything. And that's why, despite the regulatory issues and you know the other sort of negative things you hear about Nigeria, it will always remain an interesting market for investors to look at investing in. For us to go back to the days of a market, I mean, when you had huge participation, you need the retail segment of the market. What has happened is an anomaly. I mean, it's good to have the institutional side of the buy side come to the market and they do the large volumes. But for sustainability, you know, the kind of rally we used to see in the 04 days, the 05 days, the 06, 07, um, it was largely driven by the retail. So we need to get back to that. With the reduction in um, the yields on treasurables, uh, banks will still have to buy the treasurables. Because when you keep monies with banks, the banks have to keep some of those monies in very liquid instruments because they never know when you show up for your money. We have here in Nigeria where investors tend to look at federal government securities as a benchmark for all investments, right? So what I was trying to make the point is we shouldn't be looking at relative returns. So we shouldn't be looking at federal government securities. Shall I invest in that versus, you know, an equity player that comes in or a REIT or another asset class? We should be looking more at absolute um, investments absolute. in their in their context as that specific asset class. I mean, if you're going to go into specialized products, yes, there are some parts that you need to amend, but the truth of the matter is our rules are relatively flexible. It is the implementation that's the problem. So, I mean, the good news is the uh, Company Law Act that is being amended, the insolvency and bankruptcy provisions, the Security and Exchange Commission are constantly reviewing the rules so that you can invest or to create an environment for alternative asset classes. But the truth is, the rules are there. Capacity and implementation is the greatest problem we have.